Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Like that. I my Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I, I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about perfumes that I'm loving right now. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. I'm feeling this top. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling this top. I have been watching this girl on Instagram called Uche. This girl... <laughs> is so fine and she was wearing this top like a few days ago in uh, an instagram reel and i had to purchase one for myself i will link it down below for you guys the bodysuit is very snatchery like it's literally it's like it does snatch you in really well and i love i got myself a large which is perfect for my size although it's not buckled underneath at the moment because i just ate and it's not about you know i'm not about to make myself feel uncomfortable anyhow you guys know there are top 10 perfumes for life that I've done. I have done top 5 for life. There are so many perfumes in my collection that I love. The ones you guys are familiar with are your Changing Constance, Delina Exclusive, Oud Bouquet, Neroli Blanc Intense, Banana Banana by La Tizan. Those perfumes are always going to be in rotation in my perfume collection. I'm always going to have them in my collection. But in recent times, I'm going to say in the last couple of months, I have been really, really loving these perfumes and I thought to myself, I will always reach for this. No matter what, I will always repurchase these perfumes because they serve me well. These perfumes make me feel good. They are great for different occasions. Let me just dive right in. I'm going to start with this OG perfume. I've been wearing this perfume since I was like in college and I have not stopped. I may have gone through like 10 bottles and it is Light Blue Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a spring summer staple for me and for a lot of people. If you are feeling like sweaty, sticky, smelly, <laughs> this works perfectly for that type of situation. I wear this to the gym. I wear this during the day. It's light, fresh, crisp. You get the apple, you get the marigold. It's got a lot of notes and just keeps it really fresh. But to me, it's like a fresh citrus scent that is perfect only for spring and summer. This perfume needs no introduction. Mason Masaha's Escapade Gourmand. I love this perfume. If you are a true gourmand lover, I urge you to check this perfume out. I find it not too expensive. Let me say that because there's some perfumes in my collection that I don't even know how I paid for it, but <laughs> we thank the Lord. But like with Escapade Gourmand, I, this is less than 150 pounds in the UK. And I feel like that's okay. This is a 100 ml bottle. It smells really good. This is giving me like a burnt sugar caramel scent. It's got a lot of vanilla. It's very sweet. It's very addictive. It's very neat in a bottle. Longevity is a little bit so-so, but, but I carry an atomizer with me and I can refresh myself through the day. But don't expect like a beast mode in your face. It's, this is not it. This is, it's, it literally sits closer to the skin around the three hour mark but it's fine it smells good macy massage escapade gourmand check it out if you have not already guys i'm so excited because i'm going to um for me the salo vote event tomorrow <laughs> i'm definitely gonna try to vlog it but i like to live in the moment sometimes and i may not vlog a lot but I'll definitely try to get as much footage as possible i actually attended last year with my husband and my daughter and there was a big palaver about us um at the event but anyhow i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing in terms of clothes perfume shoes stay tuned for that vlog is going to come soon anyhow next perfume is jardin de misfa i am in love with this perfume and you know why i like rose and i like dates and mixing those two together you get this perfume this is an all-year-round scent that smells good on everybody to me this is feminine leaning I don't particularly want my man to smell like this. This is way too sweet, way too girly, in my opinion. But if you're a feminine lady that wants to smell tasty, definitely get your nose on this perfume. Nebras by Latafa. Listen to me. I wear this every day. I wear this every night. I wear Nebras like I don't have any perfume in my collection. This is a chocolatey vanilla. This is meant to be a dupe for Billie Eilish perfume. It's, to me, I feel like Billie Eilish is duping this because this is so much better. It has better longevity. It just has, it's like a more 
full-bodied perfume you smell the chocolate but if you're not if you're new to perfumes it may not come to you so quickly you may just see this as a slightly spicy sweet vanilla scent but the chocolate definitely comes through in this perfume if you bought yourself nebras give it i want to say a couple of weeks and start using it after a couple of weeks give it a little bit of time to macerate it gets better and better every time this one is not a skin scent yes i wear it to bed because it's not a intoxicating scent but it definitely lasts a good amount of time my husband loves this perfume on me this is so addictive in my humble opinion and for less than 40 pounds what are you waiting for nebras by latafa greedy by christian dior i know you guys already know that i love ambre nuit by dior i made that perfume famous i don't care i'm i made ambre nuit famous at least here on youtube and also greedy i had a dedicated video about this perfume on my channel please don't go and watch it because it was very early on i was talking i wasn't really saying much to be honest i wasn't giving much value but what you will get from that video because i know you guys are going to click on it now it's just me being really excited to have this perfume in my collection anyhow green dior is an earthy rose scent that has some type of sweetness but it's not like sugary sweet it's giving like a you know when you have a sweetener it's like a sweetener not sugar so you do get a nice sweetish rose with earthy tones in the base and it's got some patchouli as well which i feel grounds this perfume and make it smell so so good i was watching someone on is it tiktok or is it instagram where they were like oh greedy is nice but it doesn't last how does it not last <laughs> please tell me when i wear greedy this is one of the very few perfumes in my collection that i don't have to carry a decant this smells so so strong it's a powerful perfume in my opinion but i bought mine back in 2021 and i've heard i've heard people say um it's been reformulated and blah 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 i feel like sometimes people just use that as an excuse shower well scrub your skin use a body scrub moisturize your skin and then spray your perfume and then if it doesn't last then i don't know what to tell you just overspray but i love green deal i think it's a fantastic release i think it's a fantastic perfume for the whole entire preview line i hope you guys can get your nose on this perfume it is so amazing super expensive but it's one of those perfumes that i feel like it's actually worth the money i love it zara red temptation summer i don't even need to bring this close because you guys can't see the summer this perfume is incredible out of all the flankers because i have the original red temptation i've got the red temptation winter which i love a little bit similar to oud for greatness but a lot watered down but zara temptation summer there is something so so good about this <sighs> oh my god it kind of reminds me of uh what's this perfume i think it's narcotic something by ex nihilo it reminds me of that perfume but this is a fruity juicy so so sweet i get a lot of fruits from this perfume but super sweet fruits nothing sour in here perfect for summer perfect for spring perfect for anyone that just wants to smell good and you don't have to think about this this is going to be my scent of the day when i go to work on monday because i see that the weather might be okay for this perfume if not i don't really care i'm probably going to wear it anyway this is an amazing perfume. there was a time where it was completely sold out i couldn't find it but it's back now in stock on zara.com uk site you can get this um this 80 mil i think this size is and there's another size that is a uh, 30 mil so if you didn't want to buy the big one you can get the smaller one zara temptation summer is amazing trust me princess by killian i will always have this perfume come what me whether i have money or whether i don't have money or i am in love why because this perfume feels like a hug it feels like a warm sweet hug to my skin i absolutely love the house of killian and i feel like a lot of their perfumes are normally a hit never really a miss apart from the one they did with in the blue blue bottle that perfume smelled like fish i don't care what anyone says that was a fishy perfume that i just did not understand why people were hyping it but i think it's more of a masculine smelling perfume so the guys seem to like it but there's no way my husband will wear that and i'll be like oh baby it's not nice no that perfume does not smell good anyhow a lot of the uh, a lot of the killian perfumes are really really lovely and this one is one of them now princess has a prominent note of marshmallow it's got um green tea it's just a warm hug in a bottle if you like perfumes like milk by commodity you would absolutely love princess by killian next on my list is lira by zerjoff as you guys know 
it took a while for me to get into Zerja fragrances because a lot of their perfumes just didn't work for me. But Lyra's nice. Lyra has a lemon tart cake feel to it. It smells really good. I constantly get compliments on Lyra. I just wish, I wish that Lyra would project a bit more. It does last long. I don't have to reapply it unless I'm trying to enforce myself in the room kind of thing. But it does last long projection is around half arm's length like people aren't gonna smell you like that this is not gonna you know lead the way before you walk in this is uh closer to the skin people are gonna be around you they will sniff you here and there but it smells good this is gonna get your compliments especially from guys you guys love this perfume in my experience and i love it last but not least is c intense by Doggio amani this also is my favorite flanker now this has a beautiful black currant syrup note it also has turkish rose patchouli and benzoin and i get all of those notes but the notes that stand out most that i can smell from start to finish of this perfume is the black currant syrup this is not too sweet because you're thinking syrup mm, it might be too much but i promise you that patchouli does its thing by balancing out the sweetness i think this is one of the best designer perfumes in my entire collection and it's one of those perfumes that you can wear all year round the original c for me is more like a spring summer scent but i feel like all of the c's can be worn all year round this is amazing again it's my favorite c i only have a 30 mil here and i don't think i needed a bigger size but when this is done best believe i shall repurchase so this is c intense by giorgio armani so my lovelies that is it for today's video please let me know top three of the perfumes that you are loving right now comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye